I think what's important for us at this stage is, you know, part of the media's role is to educate the population and the viewers and hearing about the work that ECARD is doing, one realizes that there are great efforts happening on perhaps the sidelines to try to preserve something else that is just as important. That is ensuring that these vital strains that were being kept inside these seed banks, these strains that are so essential and integral to the crops that are coming out of the cradle of civilization, continue to survive and sustain themselves beyond the borders of the war. And utilization for what? There are two major aspects. The genetic resources are needed for the creation of new varieties that will have drought tolerance, heat tolerance, salinity tolerance, resistance to major diseases and insects, and also that will have response to requirements in terms of end use. This is the first shipment that we have received from the seed that the Karda is withdrawing from Savalbar in order to multiply in both Lebanon and Morocco. We need something that is really going to simplify it for us. So for example, coming in here and reporting this, we're going to try to simplify this very complicated story into the story of a seed, something that relates directly to them and directly to their lives. We're learning about this because that's important for the people to know about. And as we learn about it, we then report it to our viewers so that they can learn and have a growing sense of appreciation for what it is that organizations like ECARTA are doing on the one hand, but also the importance of the broader picture that does exist when it comes to preserving mother nature, when it comes to preserving and the developments that are happening, scientifically speaking, to ensure that future generations literally have food to eat. This seed contains traits that might end up being necessary for the survival of the species and we just don't know it yet. Exactly. 